Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us for our webinar here this morning. Um, to kind of start off, uh, a little bit of background information. About a month ago, we did an initial webinar on Twitter uh, to explain basically what it's all about and giving a bit of a framework around it. And we had um, identified that the majority of the people that were on the first webinar weren't actually on Twitter. So we are going to run a poll here very shortly to see who on the call is actually using Twitter. But with the response and the interest that we have from the previous webinar, we decided to do a follow-up webinar really focused on all the applications and the tools that you can use as recruiters and to acquire talent that are outside the Twitter tool but also in, internally. So just getting started here, um, agenda, I'm going to do a brief uh, overview about Minefield Group. We're going to do a, a live Twitter poll on who currently uses Twitter on the call here. Uh, brief overview, what is Twitter, how to search for candidates, um, some job search functions that we'll show you, how to manage, better manage Twitter, and then promoting your Twitter page, and then leading into Q&A. So this webinar should go for about 35 to 40 minutes or so, and then we should leave about 15, 20 minutes for questions. So who we are, uh, Mindful Group, we were founded in uh, 2005. Uh, at the current time, we looked at the, the RPO market was growing very aggressively, and in particular, um, the lack of candidates in the market created um, a bit of a panic in the market in the sense that companies were more open to looking at unique ways of solving their recruitment challenges. And during that period of time, we recognized that there were some traditional tools that were being used, such as job boards and newsprint and so forth. But with the emergence of social media in 2006 and 2007 in particular, it started to create some very unique opportunities for how companies go out and recruit uh, candidates and also build their employment brand awareness. Since that, time, since that time, we focused the majority of our efforts on, on focusing on the retail industry, so multi-unit retailers with um, multiple, multiple locations, um, looking for ways to centralize and, and better streamline the hiring process of hourly frontline um, employees. Currently, right now, we make a hire approximately every nine minutes or so for a multitude of clients. And uh, if you're on the call and you're, and you're a retailer, uh, and you've got multiple locations, we'd love to have a conversation with you about how our RPO solution works specifically for you. Our RPO solution, or recruitment process outsourcing solution, includes a series of things. Um, we manage all, we do all the management reporting for you regarding time to hire, cost per hire, source quality analysis, and, and ultimately our technology allows us to, to really build any report that you're looking for. Give me one second here. Sorry about that, a little tech uh, glitch. Um, we, uh, we also provide applicant tracking software, or if our clients have an ATS in place, we, we manage all the data within their ATS. Provide our clients with a branded candidate call center, so when candidates call into our office, um, it's a dedicated 1-800 number, so it's all, it's all uh, seamless to the outside world when we work under our client's brand. Manage the career site, all candidate communications, and we pre-screen all applicants, phone screen the top candidates that are, that are qualified, and shortlist those candidates for our, for our clients and essentially delivering two qualified candidates in under 72 hours. Um, and our solutions typically cut our clients' costs per hire by over 50% and dramatically lower turnover due to choice and applicant and, and our profiling and screening exercises. A couple ways to connect with us. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash minefieldgroup. You can visit our website at rethinkrecruiting.com. Uh, we consistently update our blog, and that's located at mindfieldgroup.com slash blog, or you can find it off of the main recruiting doc, recruit, rethinkrecruiting.com site. And we've also got a Facebook fan page when you go into Mindfield Group, or if you type in Facebook Mindfield, you'll see our, our Facebook fan page that we do update regularly as well. A little bit about me. Uh, I am the CEO and founder of Mindfield Group. And as I mentioned, we spend a lot of time, and, and where my expertise lies in regards to the recruitment field, is really in around how to leverage social media for recruitment. And, an organization is consistently staying on the front line and, and the cutting edge of, of any new practices or any new tools that are available. And we, uh, we test these at a, at a fairly in-depth level internally to then deploy on behalf of our clients to help impact their overall uh, recruiting and results. And um, really where, where, where we're focused a lot of the time is developing these best practices for the industry around sourcing candidates. How to contact me, you can email me directly at Cameron at MindfieldGroup.com. Here's a couple shots of our office. We've got a beautiful old uh, heritage loft in uh, 
edge of Gastown, Yale Town area in downtown Vancouver. So what I want to do is I, I want to I want to start a poll here with everybody, and and a question is going to be basically uh, who uses Twitter, and if everyone could take a couple couple seconds here to answer the question, that would be great. So as you'll see here, it's been posted. Um, and we're getting some answers coming in here. If you just click yes or no so we can get a handle on the people on the call here. We'll give another 15 seconds or so, almost everyone's in. Okay, so we've got uh, almost everybody in. And um, uh, interestingly enough, we've got uh, about a 50-50 split on uh, yes and no, so it's actually a 48 yes to a 52 no, um, which is interesting in particular because this webinar a month ago with recruiters and HR professionals and executives who were on the call, the actual result was 86% no, only 14% yes, so um, not surprised. And actually, as we finish here, it's actually a 50-50 dead even split here, which is <laughs> interesting. Um, so you know, with the growth of Twitter and the, the increased media that it's getting, uh, it's, it's, I'm not surprised that there's a, there's a dramatic, dramatic uh, change in this area. So, to really briefly go in, what is Twitter? And, and Twitter is a service for friends, family, and coworkers to communicate and stay connected through the exchange of quick, frequent answers to one simple question, what are you doing? Now, it sounds especially about well, six months ago, uh, it sounded very trivial. Um, who really cares what you're doing, essentially? And, and um, it, it's been interesting because the way that companies and organizations and these applications that are being built and how they're using them have made a substantial impact on really why is it important, uh, what, what you or your company is doing right now. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to log in here and go into uh, the Twitter interface. Uh, I'm assuming, obviously, the majority of you are, are very, very across uh, Twitter itself, but uh, I want to show you a quick uh, quick shot of our page here. I'm just going to expand this out. So you can see here we've you know we've this is our mindful group page. We've got we're following 807 people. We've got 426 uh, followers. Uh, you can see some of our recent tweets. Um, so the I was actually did this live last week at a at a presentation in here in Vancouver. Um, and what we use our Twitter page for is to really go promote. Um, our webinars promote uh, interesting links, blog topics on our site, and uh, driving the majority of, of the traffic back to our site. So again, um, you know, from a Twitter perspective, I was updating, so uh, I'm going to let really quickly here, uh, I'm going to update my Twitter page. Oh, today, okay, I'll come back to this in a second. So, a little bit about Twitter just in, uh, specifically. Uh, over the last year, it's been the fastest growing social network on the web. Um, now, February 09, these stats are a little bit out of date. Um, the latest numbers, I believe, are, are in the 12 to 13 million mark as far as users that are on the site. Um, and you can see the growth of other ones. Obviously, Facebook, less growth, but it's a little bit difficult to grow by 1,000% when you had, a, had 20 million, uh, 20 million uh, users. So Twitter is growing at a very rapid pace and should end up in the 15 to 20 mil user group or user area by the end of this year. Interestingly enough, when you look at Facebook in comparison to Twitter, Facebook was um, really used uh, by the university and college crowd predominantly, the crowd was younger, whereas Twitter, in fact, the, the large bulk of the people that actually use Twitter are in the 35 to 49 age, age bracket. Um, which is which is obviously creates um, some unique opportunities for marketers and, and recruiters in particular and organizations to connect with specific pockets of individuals. So what I'm going to lead into here is I want to talk to um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about what Twitter is. Obviously, we've got a high level, high degree of understanding on the call right now. With 50% of you uh, currently using Twitter, uh, what I want to spend time on and, and and I would recommend if anyone is interested in, in seeing our old webinar, it is on our website as well for, for viewing. So you can just find that under our resources page. But what I want to talk to you today is really some of the tips and tricks and the applications that are, are used around Twitter to go find candidates. So the first thing I want to talk to you is searching for candidates. 
and specifically the Twitter search function. So, you'll see here, obviously on my site, I've got um, a couple different areas, right? I've got my home page, just all the feeds, profile, that's my profile, find people by email address or their other usernames, settings, and so on. Now, where you can search is actually, there's a search button across the bottom here. And what this essentially represents is a real-time search engine for, for basically topics or keywords that are happening on the web. Now, I can very simply go and type in um, marketing. And what it will come back, it will give me a real-time search on anyone that's talking about marketing. So, uh, trying to find clients that need my marketing help, love it, new search, senior compliance manager, sales and marketing at major NYC pharmaceutical company, uh, network marketing blog, study marketing, free marketing materials and discounts and everything for business. Now, this is a very, very broad search, and you can see here, um, you know, they show you kind of the recent one. So, you can see here already six more results came up in those two seconds that happened. And this, again, this is really a real-time search engine. So, what I'm going to do is there's actually an advanced search. And when you're searching for candidates, let's say I was searching for marketing people. Uh, and what I'm going to do is you can see the advanced search then allows us to go in a little bit deeper. So, I'm going to go, let's say we're looking for someone in marketing in Vancouver. And I'm going to go within 25 kilometers. And I'm going to go marketing. Whoops. And so now I'm looking for people that are tweeting about marketing in Vancouver within 25 kilometers of Vancouver. And you can see you can pick people with a positive attitude or negative attitude. We talked about this. Um, if you type in job and, and negative attitude face,